I came all the way to New York City to learn more about the scene here, the board gaming scene, with my main man, a local Hello. legend. Konnichiwa, team of this. <laughs> I flew all the way to New York City, New York, to cover board game cafes and stores in Manhattan and Brooklyn. We even try a good amount of food in these stores and give our thoughts. With the help of my friend who lived in New York for more than five years, we travel via foot and subway around the city, with a little bit of help from Uber, because we're doing this all in a single day. One day, 10 locations. Oh, it's busy. <laughs> it's done. So we got 10 different places to be to talk about the features and benefits of each location with our favorite places revealed at the end of the day. But first, we gotta talk about the Origins table from Game Theory Tables. This is a solid piece of board gaming furniture, which I was definitely missing on my trip to New York. It has a huge recessed playing areas, cup holders, and even USB chargers. It actually fits TI4 too. Look at how easy it is to clean that up. If you want to copy us and get a custom play surface for free worth 200 bucks, use our code SHELFSIDE at checkout in the link below. This is the Complete Strategist, apparently one of the biggest places here. Yeah, I mean, in terms of just buying board games or just buying any sort of real strategy game in general, like this is probably the spot that you're gonna go to. It's one of the, the longest active spots in the city. Like they've been around forever. They have a huge catalog online. Do you wanna take a look at that? Let's go inside. Yeah. <laughs> Holy cow. He's got a good selection, man. That's, That's a lot like, in here. <laughs> I'm telling you, you just look up and like, oh my goodness. I was gonna give commentary for this place, but uh, our reactions to the sheer amount of games you can buy should tell you enough. This is like the densest board game shop I've ever been to. Yeah, and it's not yeah. just board games too. Like you can see they have tons of like um, like strategy game books too. Like mm -hmm. they have Warhammer, they have D&D, they have more obscure stuff too, like sci-fi and whatnot. It's pretty crazy. Dang, yeah. Oh, and there's, oh my God, it's like up to the ceiling. So how much money have you spent here, Tim? Actually, Zero dollars. Zero dollars. Zero dollars. <laughs> Believe it or not, zero dollars, because I didn't have any money in college. Oh, there games. There there's also not a not a space to play here. Is that what's going on? No, there's no space. Okay, so no. it's just a shop. Yeah. Okay, yeah, a bunch of Ravensburger puzzles right here. Yeah, but it, yeah. it's like, it's pretty much like all things tabletop, I would say, is a good way to, to put it. It's all like, things tabletop. All things tabletop. Oh, I thought this was like food at first. No, it's, just, <laughs> it's like it likes to keep like the baked goods. Well, look, it's your favorite game, Wingsman. Oh, my favorite, yeah. Look, see, all the way at the back, as things should be. <laughs> Local legend, Tim Zhang, what do you think about the complete strategist? Uh, you know, it is, to this day, one of my favorite, like, board game shops in the city. Yeah, I would have taken one, but, I mean, we gotta carry it around the rest of the day, ship it back home, so... Another time. Well, why don't you come back later at the end of the day, and then buy another game. Uh, bye, 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 bye. Okay, on bye, to the next bye. place. <laughs> <laughs> Second location, Hex and Co. So this one's an actual board game cafe with food and drinks. Yeah, so, uh, so Hex and Co. is actually, there's three different locations for Hex and Co. This is actually the third location. Uh, we're currently located on 11th and 11th Street in Broadway. Oh yeah, they also have after school programs and you can inquire that about that online, but we don't have kids, so not for us today. Not yet. Let's not take a look. Yet, not yet. Anyway. Not yet, yeah. we'll get married too. Yeah. <laughs> Hex & Co, the largest chain of board game cafes in New York City, with no time limit. This place is fairly new, but popping. Free water. You like free water? I do like free water. Yeah, yeah, down here is where they have a lot of the tables that you can rent out and oh, you can play. You can okay. see their collections on the yeah. wall, so like they have okay. like a pretty good selection. Yeah, I was gonna say. Oh, the Dark Souls game. Nice. They have quite a bit. What is your favorite game? Oh. Battlestar Galactica. Okay, I'm surprised they have a copy of that. Yeah, that's actually kind of expensive. Oh, we found your favorite game. 
We found it. We found uh, it. We found it, Ashton. We found it. We found it. We found Ashton's favorite game. Uh, I may actually buy something here, though. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. I'm gonna buy buy Ahoy. Buy 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 what? Ahoy. Ahoy? I don't know what that is. Buy 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 buy
inside has like a nice texture to it. It's like there's some type of uh, chunks inside or something. Mm. It's gonna give it first bite. No, we just got out and it is very tight in there, especially compared to Hex & Co. Yeah, it's, so, uh, it's a bit of a smaller space. Um, but, you know, by necessity, like some of the storefronts in New York are a bit smaller, so you try to cram as much stuff as you can into, yeah. one, into one spot. Pile it to the ceiling. Yeah, pretty yeah. much. I do love Uncommons like a lot though. Like it's, mm -hmm. uh, there's so many memories made uh, just from constantly being here for, like, for college games. Well, I was telling Tim as we were sitting down and drinking, I can't imagine playing like a heavy, serious game there. It's more of like a Ticket to Ride Catan party game vibe because it's just so tight. The demographic here definitely feels a lot younger. As soon as you walked in, I could tell there's college kids just playing games on the weekends. Yeah, I mean, again, it's so close to NYU. You're going to get college kids all over the place. Just, yeah. just come in to hang out uh, and just playing games just all the time. Yeah, like, I, I wish there's something like this for my college, honestly. Uh, and that's it for, for Uncommons. For Uncommons, so yeah. Now we're going to head on to the next spot. The next spot. Let's go, let's go, let's go. What is the next spot? We're going to take the subway down okay. to, to, to Brooklyn, and then uh, we'll be in Brooklyn for the, the rest of the trip today. Cool, let's go there. Yeah, let's roll. Let's go, go, go. Brooklyn local. So we're in Brooklyn. This is the Brooklyn Game Lab. It is closed today, but uh, it specializes in uh, kids' educational stuff for board games. Yeah, so they have a lot of after school programs, uh, summer camps, uh, a lot of learning and engagement for younger kids. Uh, and, you know, kids just ages I think 6 to 14 is the, the general range that they try to promote. All right, so okay, now so. from here we're going to head on to Sip and Play, which is uh, more of a traditional board game cafe, if you okay, will. Uh, gotcha. And then we're going to get some food there, just take a look at what kind of stuff they got there as well. Okay, cool. Yeah, let's head on over. We are here at Sip and Play in Brooklyn. Honestly, the food here is really good, so I'm looking forward to you trying to try that. Okay. Yeah, let's take a look then. Yeah. Hey, so it was really noisy in here, so here's my voice again. This place is very much a cafe first that happens to have the board game theme slapped on it. There's over 300 games available to rent, slightly less to buy, and some event coverage. Overall, it feels like it leans more towards casual slash party games and MTG. Free money. Now let's try some of the food. A lychee slush with uh, boba added to it. Okay, you want to take the first one? Yeah, I'll take the first one. You're Am I taking the, the happy, am I the smiley face one? All right, so you're more of a boba guy, I'm not. So we'll see what you think. It tastes like a lychee slush with boba. Pretty good. That's a lychee boba. Good. He's an inexperienced boba man. This is a yuzu aid. A uh, yeah, what? A yuzu aid. A yuzu aid, okay, I don't know what that is. Hey, let's try it out. Sweet sour. Go with our own. That's really good. There's little chunks of yuzu. Mm, yeah. It's not too sour, it's not too sweet. We ordered uh, tater tots today, and then for a sandwich, we got an Italian panini. So that's prosciutto, mozzarella, and uh, pesto. So simple, but like, they present it very, in my opinion, I think they present it very well. Again, you can watch us eat like the animals we are. I like tater tots, yeah. I do like tater tots. All right, first bite, first thoughts. Wow, that panini was actually pretty solid. This is, to me, is like, you know, hits all the right spots. It's got the Brooklyn bias. Maybe, I guess. Well, we just finished eating. Nice work. Oh. <laughs> eating too much. <laughs> We're eating a lot. <laughs> we gotta walk, then eat, then walk, then eat. Yeah, you gotta pace it out. What are your thoughts? I, I mean, I personally love it. You already know that, like, I've been here so much, like, I love the food here. I love the drinks here, especially. The drink was good. Yeah, I yeah. really like that one. The, the citrus Yuzu, one. The Yuzu Aid was really good, and the lychee, I mean, the lychee boba, it's a lychee slush. Like. One thing definitely about that place is that it gets loud. 
It's really loud. They're like playing hip hop. And then uh, I feel like uh, there's a lot of people that's going to get pretty noisy fast. Yeah, so it could be a little difficult, I think, to, to try and run like a, a game that requires a lot more, I guess, moving like nuanced parts. communication or a lot of moving parts. Uh -huh. Okay, so now we're going to where? Going to the Brooklyn Strategist. Brooklyn is, Strategist. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Hi. Hi. We're here at the Brooklyn Strategist in Brooklyn. Brooklyn Strategist is really solid. Like I've seen a lot of good games on their shelves and um, you know every time I come here and grab like a drink or something like that it's also pretty nice too. Let's go my main man. Whoa okay yeah this place is a definitive board game hub. Games everywhere, tons of people playing MTG for the pre-release and lots of other organized events. There's also an insane amount of games to rent out. Also very board gaming friendly. Oh yeah I forgot the dice tower guys. It's crazy. Wants to play Root? Wants to play Root, huh? So we had our coffee? Or he had his coffee, now we're I done. I did have my coffee. Yeah. The focus is playing games, yeah. right? Space, yeah. And the place in the back we were sitting at was really nice. Some gentle music. Yeah, relaxed ambiance. And they yeah. label their games, right? So you yeah. can be like, oh, yeah. I want this type of game. Yeah. Yeah. So we have three more locations left. Three more locations left. Uh, the next stop is going to be Squirrel Cafe, which is uh, close to our Atlantic Avenue Barclays Center. Show you around. Uh, Barclays, let, oh you, boy. let you okay. take a look and see what's going on over there. Squirrel Cafe. Yep, so this is the next stop that we are here at. This is actually really close to the Barclays Center. If you actually look right over there, you'll see the Barclays Center. I've been here a couple times. Uh, don't remember too much about it, except the drinks being pretty good and that they had a, a smallish selection. So I'm interested to see if they've uh, uh, added more stuff to their collection since then doesn't look like a huge gaming place, more of a cafe, but we'll see. Sounds good, let's go in. Okay. Look at Squirrel Cafe is oh, one wow, of those cafes bad. that has lots of board gaming featured, but this one is very mellow, very well spaced out, quiet atmosphere, and has some Asian rice balls for us to try. Uh, we have a seaweed salad onigiri. It's pretty much exactly what you would expect. It's just onigiri with seaweed salad in it. I'm gonna try the tuna mayo one. Also, pretty much exactly what you'd expect. Tuna mayo. Eating a bunch of rice. I don't think I got to the center enough. <laughs> Make sure you get some of the filling this time instead of just rice. Yeah, it's better because I got more filling. <laughs> I was gonna say the other one you just got rice. Yeah, I think the the ambiance is nice there. Um, it's pretty much what I remembered it to be, uh, like a nice little cafe. Uh, yeah. I saw one of the employees helping someone learn the game too. It was cool. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we're here at 20 Side Store. It's primarily a retail store. They do have a lot, like a pretty good reputation for on their like for selling stuff online. They actually have a lot of like, uh, you know, so I bought dice from them before. I bought like, okay. other things from them. So I'm very familiar with the brands. I just haven't been to the new storefront yet. Well, you, play, you play Roll for the guy. I played Roll, I like Roll, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty chilly in here. Another more mellow store with a focus on retail and like the party events. Games there is here. no food yeah. provided yeah. here, but lots of good restaurants in the area. All the games are in the front, playing is all in the back. Oh, so this is, I guess, high fantasy? No, the mansion. Oh, Alice is missing. They have that. Nice. Okay, so this is uh, Sparks. This is Sparks. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. We begin by everybody sharing their most vivid memory of the night sky. Just to kind of warm us up. These are quite deep. And this, this is yeah. like a safety tool. Right. So uh, yeah, okay. It's like, you don't feel comfortable. Well, we just finished, and look what happened. He I, bought it. I buy, buy, buy. Yeah, bye, bye, so, bye. you know, they gave us a really cool demo of the game, and I thought, I have too much heavy strategy. And now we have our final stop for the des uh, for the day, the last, last place we're visiting, last, also called Last, last place, place on Earth. Earth. That's right. our last so, place on Earth. We're going to head over there, uh, and we will show you guys what's up over yeah. there. The final one. The final shebang. <laughs> it's been a long day. <laughs> it's been a long day <laughs> for, for whole ass <laughs> tail over here. We're here, the last place, the last place on Earth. That's right. Yeah. Um, I've never been here, actually. I, I've seen it, you know, on maps and stuff, but I, I just, I don't come out to Williamsburg or Greenpoint too well frequently, so I haven't had the chance to, like, check out, like, wh what they have here. Yeah. So. By the way, it is currently 7.10, so we're getting a little darker. That day is winding down. We've been out for a bit. <laughs> <Over> a <laughs> We've bit, been out for a bit, yeah. It's been the journey, yeah. Yeah, it has been the journey. So let's, let's get the last place going and All find right. out what's going on let's inside. Let's check it out. 
last place on Earth. Feels very D&D and party slash casual game centric and is also extremely spacious. Nice ambiance with the hanging lights everywhere too. And it has a bit of a spooky theme that the other places don't have. Well, we just finished last place on Earth. The yep. final location. Yeah, I had a tea. It was pretty good. That place is very cozy. We came at the right time, like the sun's setting. So it's kind of dark outside. Inside has all this nice, like, ambient lighting. You could D and D there. I can, or, or D and D, or I could just like bring a, like a you know a tabletop game or something and just sit there for a few hours with a friend group and hmm. like lose track of time. That's like that's the kind of vibe I get from it. I don't know. if yeah, that, yeah. You got the same thing. Okay. Well, we'll go to our final just resting location and just kind of chill and just wrap up everything, see how we think. Yeah, all right. Yeah, one day, 10 locations. Oh, it's busy. <laughs> it's done. It's been a long day. I mean, we got to complete strategist at like 12 in the morning. 12 in the morning. We got, we got to complete strategist at like 11... 15, 11.30. Something like that in the morning. And then now here we are in Brooklyn at like yeah. 8 p.m. after just running around all day, pretty much. 7.30. Close enough. I'm rounding. I'm yeah, rounding. yeah, yeah. I mean, the, the sun's definitely set, right? We're making the best out of this uh, final daylight we have. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. All the board game stores are like just clumping together in my brain. There's so much B-roll I filmed today. Like, I filmed so many bookshelves. You've been, you've been busy. Yeah. <laughs> you've seen a lot of things. Yeah. Just like, what, what was your favorite spot today? Hmm. Okay. Yeah, it, it's really hard to say, like, give a true definitive answer because I was filming a lot of it, so it's not like I'm really experiencing the whole Sitting atmosphere. Down, yeah. I didn't even get to play a game at all, right? Yeah, we're just I didn't buy a game either, <laughs> only yeah, you bought a game. True. So it's very vibes based, but I would say that I think Hex and Co is still my favorite. Uh -huh. Like the atmosphere is really nice. The server or the, the guy who was talking to us was really cool. Yeah, the guy, yeah. The, the employee at the store was super, yeah. super laid back. Really, I like the really layout. Easy the definitive run up would be 20 sided. 20 sided store. Okay. Yeah, I, I like that place. I mean, the demo was very memorable. Yeah, for and sure. And I was talking to that guy quite a bit. It was fun. I think just I have to give a shout out to the complete strategist just because the sheer quantity of games there just blew my mind. <sighs> Obviously, you can't play games there. Yeah. But it's so memorable just seeing like the game stacked to the ceiling, just walking around, be like, oh, wow, they have that game. Okay, at some point, I give up because they have every game. They have a lot of games. We get some dinner, dude. Yeah, we'll get so, some dinner. Yeah. Well, that was quite the insane day, full of games, games, and more games. I mean, ironically, we didn't actually get to play anything on that day. Perhaps that is for another video. But we hope that this is a great sampler or inspiration to get out there to New York City or even wherever you live to see what board gaming spaces there are. For now, I'm going to rest my weary legs and actually play some board games at home. Yeah, we'll so get some hungry. dinner. Yeah, I think so this is the end of the video. Yeah, thank you yeah. guys for watching. And uh, that is it. Yeah, thanks to all our patrons. I'll put it over here. And On my I, face. Yeah. On his face, right here. Patrons, right here. Patron read. You guys Patron make list. these videos possible. Right here, right here. And then we also got our Mad Lads cardboard. Somewhere over here, probably on his face again. My face again. His face, right there. My right, face. right, his face. His face. Yep. And then that's it. Yeah. Remember to like. Uh, comment, subscribe, let me know which one of these you've been to before or which ones your stand stood out to you, which one's your favorite. Yeah. 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 And subscribe for more board game content. Probably won't do one of these for a while. It's like a whole day shebang. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, it takes a while to make, but maybe one other city or something at some point. And thanks, thanks to these two for helping me make this. Yeah, I don't think I could have done it without the planning from this guy. Oh. Keep me all uh, ground and all this stuff. Uh, he, he comes to New York once in a blue moon, of course. <laughs> Got to show them a good time. Yeah. Nine years later. I'm nine, nine years later. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's Thanks it. Thanks, everyone. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if that's what you're into, if you want to hang out with yeah. some college kids, then yeah. But well, <laughs> I'm not going to hang out with college kids. Okay. Yeah, I guess we can use that. <laughs> yeah.